Hello again, everyone. Welcome back and welcome to the first review of the new year, 2021. Today, we're looking at the new Diesel Whiskey Row Sherry Cask Holiday Edition. Seems appropriate since we're still in the holiday season. 5 by 56 and this is just a slight takeoff of the original, which I actually reviewed about a year ago. This uh, uses the uh, a Connecticut broadleaf wrapper as the original, but it's also a barber pole striping of a Connecticut shade wrapper. Binder is Brazilian Arapirica, and there's Nicaraguan Habano filler. Now, these come really cool in this whiskey, wooden whiskey barrel keepsake. Uh, comes in with 10 cigars and includes a lid that doubles as an ashtray. Retail price $124.99 for the cigars and barrel. As you could probably guess, you get 10 cigars in the barrel. There is the density. Every one of them are like this. It's a perfectly round cigar, but the foot is strategically square. So let's get right to it. The new holiday edition of the Diesel Whiskey Rose Sherry Cask. Boop. All right, we've got to remove this uh, rather large band at the foot. Potentially, this could be a problem because it's so big, but it appears to be just sticky enough that it will come right off. All right, good. That saved a lot of headache. Now, you can really get a better look at the barber pole. This band ends right here, but it almost blends in with the entire cigar. I like that. There's a lot of barber pole cigars out right now. Matter of fact, my cigar of the year was a barber pole, but there's several others, some more coming up too. Nice looking cigar. Let's hope it's good. And I don't know. What do you think? Possibility that since we're after the holidays, these may go on sale. Be on the lookout. The draw, by the way, is good. somewhat citrusy cedar and I would get I would call it the, the a flavor of crab apple you ever had crab apple there's brown sugar there's a very pasty um, semi fluid nutmeg light chocolate notes there is cinnamon there too I'm getting I don't have a defined coffee base. It's more of that light chocolate, but there is there's a low level of earthy coffee. Black pepper is pretty good, about seven and a half at least. So it's a sweet, tangy start. But it's a nice start. A little different than the original. Look back at my review on that one. This is starting out a little different. Well, that's fine. So let's see what we have in the first third. Cigar is settling down very nicely. It's uh, it's very tangy. Still the same flavor notes I described. 
the nutmeg has light leathery notes to it. Like I said, it's very smooth and and creamy, but it's sort of leathery. They're light chocolate notes and light black coffee notes, but they combine to make a nice base. Medium body. The finish is a little, hmm. It's a little of that crab apple. Interesting flavor, but it's there. A little cedar, a little sweetness of brown sugar. Actually, a little coffee. Decent lingering black pepper. But the cigar is very flavorful. And as you can see, I got a nice burn time out of the first third. I'm going glacially slow as I try to go when I review them. But you get a lot of good. The flavors come out. Clean palate. Slow smoke. Flavors really come out. I am really enjoying this first third. I would rate it 94. At this point, it's really good. I'll point out another thing. You'll notice this view is slightly different than before. Now, the uh, chief is still over there. But uh, someone commented that the lights from the chandelier uh, obstruct things. So either I need to look at you like this or like this. So I'm going to go straight on for a while and we'll just play it by ear. You can tell me if you want to see me askew with the chief there or not. Big side note there. First third of this cigar is very good. I'm anxious to see if it holds. Second third. And as you can see, I'm moving. There's the chief back there. Now, in the second third, Cigar moved up to medium to full. Basically the same flavor notes, but the crab apple aspects are giving it just a little bitterness. It's not a lot, but it's some. But it, 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 it's detract, detracting a little, so I'm dropping it at 93 because I still think it's pretty good. I think it's very good, actually. But the bitterness sort of took a little bit away. Doesn't mean it'll stay around, but if it does, we'll deal with it. But so far, it's uh, pretty good. And actually, if you look back at the uh, previous review of this cigar in the normal edition, this cigar scored 91s at this point. So this is shaping up to little, be a little better cigar if it holds. down to the end so let's wrap it up well the good news is the bitterness subsided and you went back to the same very nice flavor notes very tangy very sweet again I say the base is light coffee and light chocolate it's actually a little more chocolate now the finish is by and large unchanged and it's nice and sweet. Nice lingering black pepper. I would also say the cigar moved up the full body, which is a little surprising, but uh, you could actually feel the little hero. Now, this was uh, blended by Justin Andrews and made by A.J. Fernandez. So uh, that could explain why it's pretty darn good. I would hold the 94 for the final third. This is a very enjoyable cigar, and again, different from the original, as you can tell from the scoring. Your overall score is 93.67, and that's solid. That's exactly where it ought to be, because this is a good cigar. So there you have it, the new Diesel Whiskey Row Sherry Cask Holiday Edition. Look for them. 